Luna Classic is still on an absolute tear, and we're gonna wonder again, will Luna reach a dollar? Well, the articles are back out in full force. Luna, will Luna Classic hit $1 price? Every single day, we're gonna get a new article like this because that's what gets clicks. But if you actually read them and you scroll on down, you can see at the end, they always say the same thing. Despite cryptocurrency's impressive gains, investors should have cautious optimism. They do not believe that it's gonna hit a dollar. And nor do I, because a dollar would be absolutely insane. A dollar price, I repeat, would be absolutely insane. Luna Classic here, trending number one again. Let's see, the volume, 1.2 billion. The market cap, 1.4 billion. Absolutely incredible that we've reached that high again already. Love it, love to see it. But the price now, 0.0002. For it to reach just two cents, it would be 100x from where it is now. 1,000x would be 20 cents. And what's that? 10,000x would be $2. So 5,000x, 5,000x <laughs> would be a dollar. And you can do the math. It ain't happening. But I know a lot of people will tell me that there are lunar burns. And hopefully the burns continue. We actually did a big burn here on the channel with the revenue that this channel generated about a year and a half, maybe even two years ago. Oh my God, the time has just gone. This bear market has been a wild roller coaster. But we did a big burn and hopefully these burns continue. I'd love to see massive amounts of burns, but it's gonna take huge amounts of burns. Let me know down there in the comment section which proposal or which project you think is actually gonna help with these burns so I can look into them and I can give you a little bit of an honest opinion as to whether or not I think they're gonna do any different. With that said, my trades that I talked to you guys about yesterday, Bitcoin still over a thousand percent gain. I did reopen Solana just now at uh, $60, $60 now, and you can trade anywhere in the world with Margex, right? They have up to 100x leverage, but don't use that. That's way too much. Be an experienced trader and uh, practice don't open positions that are going to get you liquidated because that's ridiculous. And you do not need any personal details for this exchange. So you can trade anywhere. The links are down there in my description. Now, looking at the overall news, we have some good news coming out today, which is, of course, going to affect the altcoins and the Bitcoin market. So people believe that the 42K uh, price action that Bitcoin saw was not driven by futures liquidations, more driven by spot volumes, meaning people are buying Big, big investors buying, you know, the top Bitcoin info charts you can see. People over the last month, I spoke about this on my main channel, have been buying Bitcoin like absolutely crazy, crazy amounts of Bitcoin, which is wild. Why would they be doing that? Well, they did it all before this big run that we had. So they were expecting this. Now, I believe that we're going to see more of a run once we get the Bitcoin ETF uh, approval. But I do also believe that people will probably see a little bit of bearish action in the market because that is what nobody is expecting. Now, we do have this little bit of data here where the KJ Ichimochu cloud hit 42,230, right? That's what it did. And if we get rejected here, it mirrors 2019. So be prepared for that. We've spoken about this before, but 2019, 300% move. Right now, 150% move. If we were to move 300%, it would put us at $62,000. Then a crash similar to this one, if we discount the uh, COVID stuff, is about 50% and puts us slap bang as to where we are right now, maybe even down here at the 32,000. This is all stuff that could happen. So don't believe that just because we have a Bitcoin ETF that it's gonna be happy days from now. It is history that we have a run up before the uh, bull market and then we have a dump and then we have the bull market. Same thing happened here, uh, run up, crash, bull market. All right, so it can happen. So don't put all your eggs in one basket. The way I see it is dollar cost averaging is the way to go. Now we do have the greed and fear index in greed once again. Greed, greed, greed. The market is greedy, meaning that I believe there will be some sort of pullback on the horizon. Now, we do have amazing news. We've got El Salvador now in profit after everyone absolutely ridiculed them. Great to see. We got the US Defense Department urged to integrate Bitcoin to maintain superpower status. I think that superpower status, in my opinion, I'm afraid, is probably not going to be around for much longer. And then we have BlackRock and Bitwise file, uh, updating their files for their spot Bitcoin ETF applications with the SEC. So they are actively trying to give the SEC what they want. And I think this is going to be great. I think that that means that they're pretty much 
doing exactly what the SEC is asking. So why wouldn't the SEC approve these spot ETFs? Now, if you want to come over and join a crew of people trying to find awesome information in this market all the time and you want to stay up to date with my trade updates one of which was a 15x gain just the other day can i find it here somewhere in here there's a 15x gain and i did ask people to let me know what they thought of the discord throughout this bear market and a lot of people made a lot of money and uh, it's been a great time. We've had a great time. It's been a small little community through this bear market and we do want to grab some new investors and some new people here. So if you want to come and join an awesome crew of people, the link is down there in my description and I shall see you guys in the next one. Peace from me.